we are here in Kyushu, and I want to show you about um, these little teapots here that we got in Mashiko. They're handmade, exquisite teapots. So delicate and lovely. And they're made of a very special clay. And I was about to use it when my Japanese friend said, Stop! You have to boil it in okayu. And I was wondering, what? What is okayu? And she was explaining to me that this type of teapot has really tiny holes in it. And if you don't boil it in something like a, a gruel or a porridge mixture, that it will crack over time and it will um, not basically last as long. And you want this to be a lifetime teapot. I'll probably be using this for my delicious gyokuro, so I want to treat it properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to boil your teapots to prepare them. Okay, so here we are at the stovetop, and the first thing we need to do is line a big pot with a tenugui. And a tenugui is a staple item in Japan. It is a very special cotton cloth that is always virtually the same size and they're used for everything, absolutely everything. They're the best dish towels on the planet because they're so absorbent. And this one came from my little farming co-op, so I'm going to use that instead of my, my prettier ones like this one. Love that one. So what you do is you line the pot with your tenugui. I suppose you could use like a muslin cloth as well. And it, this is for a little bit of padding in the bottom of the pot so you don't crack it. I'm really nervous about doing this because I love this teapot. And this just seems a little bit odd, doesn't it? Okay, so I've lined the pot with muslin. I'm going to put, actually I'm going to put a third of a cup of oatmeal in the bottom of this. You can use rice bran, you can use rice, but don't use brown rice. You need the gluten um, to basically um, fill the holes in. So I've got the oatmeal in the bottom. I'm sticking the teapot in there like so. And now what I want to do is it's pretty much 1 to 10. So one part oatmeal or rice bran or glutinous rice to 10 parts water. But the most important thing is to make sure that you have enough water in here to fill the pot to the brim. Ooh, that just does it. Actually, I'm going to add a little more water to that. This water straight out of the tap because you're not going to be eating this. You're just prepping your teapot. Okay, a bit more. Oh my gosh, this makes me nervous. <laughs> I've never done this before. Okay, um, so what we want to do is put our lid on, and we want to simmer this for 20 minutes. So I'm going to let this kind of come to a little bit of a boil and then I'm going to turn the heat down and monitor it very carefully because I don't want anything to happen to this teapot. I love it so much. But when we're finished, it will be ready to use for your special gyokuro or sencha. Okay folks, it's been simmering here for about 20 minutes and now I'm going to attempt Pull it out. Oh my gosh. How do I do this? <laughs> I'm not really sure. So far, so good. I'm going to put it here. This is very hot, obviously. <laughs> Whoop, over here to the sink. And I'm just going to tip that out. The lid is still in here this thing out. Oh, I can't see anything in this pot. Actually, I think one of the best things for me to do is to take the tenagui out so I can see it in there and over to the sink. 
Now, I'm just going to let this cool here like this so that it doesn't um, have extreme temperatures. But that, my friends, is how you prep your teapot.